What is the RX 350? In recent years, the Lexus RX has had three key attributes to potentially win over midsize SUV customers. Distinctive styling, a below average price tag, and perceived reliability by its parent company. Lexus introduces the redesigned RX for 2023, packed with many new powertrains and other upgrades. Most hated among them is the removal of the touchpad controller. We'll cover the standard 2023 Lexus RX 350 here, but you should know that there's also the RX 350 hours hybrid, the RX 450 hours plus plug-in hybrid, and the RX 500 hours performance hybrid, and I'll talk about the other models in my next videos. What's under the hood of the RX 350? The RX 350 has long made do with a naturally aspirated V6 engine, but the new model ditches a few cylinders. The 2023 RX 350 is powered by a 2.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine that produces 275 horsepower and 317 pounds to foot of torque. Compared to the outgoing model, the new RX 20 has less horsepower but 50 more pound to foot. The front-wheel drive RX 350 can sprint from 0 to 100 miles per hour in 7.5 seconds, and opting for all-wheel drive drops the estimated acceleration time to 7.2 seconds. The last front-wheel drive RX 350 we tested did 0 to 60 in 7.9 seconds, so the new powertrain, plus a weight savings of about 200 pounds, allows for slightly quicker acceleration. We also expect the new four-cylinder to be more fuel-efficient. Fears of losing the current model's venerable V6 engine can be put to rest. The combination of the new 2.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine and eight-speed automatic makes the RX 350 feel more responsive and powerful than the previous V6 and its slower-shifting six-speed automatic. Thanks to the RX's extra size and weight, it doesn't feel as fast as the smaller NX 350, but the RX is far from underpowered. Our test car was equipped with the optional F-Sport handling package, which included all-wheel drive, adaptive suspension and grippy wheels mounted on 21-inch wheels, among various cosmetic upgrades. We've found the F-Sport packages to be a weak point for the RX in previous generations, due in large part to an overly stiff and busy ride that's on Lexus-like. We're happy to say that the new generation RX F-Sport's ride quality is a noticeable improvement, but we found it to be a bit stiff and jumpy on less than perfect road surfaces but it's not too busy to be a deal-breaker, so if you like the interior and exterior styling changes brought by the F-Sport package, you'll probably be happy with the stiffer ride. How's the RX 350's interior? The outside might not look radically different from the outgoing RX but the inside certainly does. Dominating the experience is a fully digital dashboard combined with a choice of a 9.8-inch or a 14-inch horizontally-oriented touchscreen display. Everywhere you look it's a step forward from the previous model and the interior of the RX looks both more youthful and luxurious. Even in its most opulent trim level, the new RX doesn't ever look or feel like your elderly aunt's old Lexus. Build quality, as you'd expect, is exceptional. The new chassis gives the RX a slightly longer wheelbase and that pays dividends for rear legroom. We had the occasion to spend nearly an hour in the back of an RX and came away noting the excellent legroom and comfortable sculpting of the rear seats themselves. Unlike the outgoing model, Lexus says it had no immediate plans to offer an RX with a third row of seats. How's the RX 350's tech? Lexus has finally done away with the much maligned touchpad controller that made the user interface so clunky and difficult to interact with in the old RX. It instead uses a simple touchscreen, albeit punctuated with a pair of physical dials that allow you to quickly input the desired temperature for the front seat climate system. We've tested this interface in several newer Toyota and Lexus products, including the new Toyota Tundra and Lexus NX, and while it's not as user-friendly as we'd like, it is significantly easier to navigate around the menus. Navigation is available but only as a subscription, much like satellite radio. While we're not entirely sure how that will play with Lexus buyers, we did find the system easy to read at a quick glance and very accurate. Audio feels can rest easy knowing the new RX continues to offer an excellent Mark Levinson system. This one features 21 speakers, 1,800 watts and a 9-inch subwoofer. Standard on all RX models is Lexus Safety System Plus 3.0, a suite of advanced driver aids that includes forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking, emergency steering assistance, lane keeping assistance and adaptive cruise control. We had ample time to experience the RX's adaptive cruise control and lane centering and came away impressed with their smoothness. Though we're not enamored with the touch-sensitive multifunction steering wheel mounted pads that activate the system, it was definitely stress-relieving on longer highway stretches and it's nice to see the safety suite as standard equipment. In the eight years since the RX's last redesign, 
luxury SUVs have become increasingly competitive, leaving the Lexus playing catch-up. The complete overhaul Lexus has given the RX for 2023 has thoroughly modernized its popular SUV and given it a fighting chance.